beautiful chunky tablet you're seeing on your screen is what's called an HP touchpad. Something I never heard of until around last week when I picked it up at a pawn shop for about $20. Apparently it launched in February 2011 with a Java based operating system called WebOS. It has a dual core processor and one gigabyte of RAM. I think it's the perfect candidate to stick Android Pie on. To get started, I wanted to activate the tablet. Just kind of take a look at WebOS. And to do that, you need an Ovacom driver, which is useful for the Android install, and Java. Download links to both of these in the description. A heads up about the Novacon driver, though, is the one in the zip file doesn't work. You have to go with the universal Novacom driver, but small things, I guess. <laughs> So, this is WebOS. It's kind of boring, and not much can be done with it, because HP killed off support for it long ago. To get started, you have to extract the tp install zip and run the tp install .bat file. At which point you'll end up on this screen here. Go ahead and scroll down using the volume buttons and select complete data reset with the home button. Come on, push it. There you go. Go ahead and select yes three times. It's a bit redundant. It'll take some time for it to erase. After you've done the data reset, go ahead and use the volume buttons to select Install Android. This will go ahead and mount the tablet to the computer, and it'll show up as an external drive in your Windows Explorer. Back on the computer, you want to go ahead and select the HP touchpad. In my case, I went ahead and opened it in another window so I could easily drag and drop files to the HP. In the link below, there will be a guide that has plenty of links to the KitKat install necessary to install Android on the tablet. Go ahead and drag everything in the KitKat folder to the root of the HP touchpad. Back on the tablet, you want to go ahead and select Unmount Media Volume. This will dismount it from the computer. At the moment, it's currently checking all the files that you copied over to the root of the tablet. This may take a bit of time. After it checks the files, you'll be brought to a screen that says Confirm OS Install. Go ahead and select Adjust Volume Sizes. This is important. Basically what you want to do is take away 1 gigabyte from cm-data and add that 1 gigabyte to cm-system. Go ahead and select apply changes, then at the confirm OS install screen you want to select yes. This will take some time as it's installing Android KitKat onto your tablet.
After you've set up Android KitKat, go ahead and take a look around. If all you want is a cheap Android 4.4 tablet, you can stop here. But I'm going to go further and install Android 9 on it. To begin the Android 9 process, first you have to plug the tablet back into the computer. Then you want to navigate to the downloads folder and then you want to copy over your Android 9 folder from your desktop to the tablet. Back on the tablet, you want to hold down the power button and select reboot. After you reboot, you'll be brought to this MoBoot screen. Go ahead and use the volume up button to select Boot TWRP. Once on the TWRP screen, you want to go to Install, Downloads, and select Flintman TWRP. This is going to flash a newer version of the TeamWin Recovery Project onto the tablet. Once you get to this screen, you want to select Reboot System. Once it reboots, once again you want to use the Volume Up button to select Recovery and use the Home button to select it. Once you reboot to the new version of Twerp, you want to select Wipe, Advanced Wipe, select System, and swipe to Factory Reset. After it's done wiping the system partition, you want to select Back, and then push the Home button to go to the Home screen and select Install. From here, you want to select your downloads folder. Select Open G Apps. Add more zips and select DU Tenderloin. Then make sure you select Reboot System. Hey, wait a minute. I said select Reboot System and then swipe to install. This is going to take a minute. So probably go make yourself some tea, or walk the dog, or sleep. It takes a good while. And here's Android 9, at least the home screen. So what can it do? Well, you can browse the web with Opera Mini. It's really the only web browser that I've found that works, even with slight hangups. Google Chrome just crashes outright. Hey, look, it's the HP touchpad. Reading up on the Wikipedia article. As you can see, touches are not that responsive. Light web browsing like reading a Wikipedia article or other news articles is about all I would use this tablet for. It's not the most responsive and even trying to play YouTube videos it causes it to crash. So, how about gaming? Well, I would use this for emulators most likely thanks to the large screen. So let's play some RetroArch. Well, use RetroArch to play some games. I've loaded up some SNES games and already downloaded the core. And let's run. I said let's run. No? Uh, uh oh, oh, it crashed. Thankfully this other emulator, SNES 9X, seems to work just fine, even being able to play some Super Mario World. And it works great! Just as you'd expect, I mean the SNES wasn't all that powerful when it came out, and so emulating the games doesn't take too much power. How about we get into another SNES game, Mortal Kombat Ultimate. 
This is a great benchmark as it measures the input lag from the buttons. Needless to say, I still suck. What's the experience like of using Android 9 on an HP touchpad from 2011? Absolutely terrible. There's a lot that's wrong with it, but mainly it's just really slow. Now that's not to say it doesn't have the silver lining. There's a huge mining community behind it, which means there's a lot of ROMs, even including Linux, that can be stuck on it. As a daily tablet, it's terrible. But as a nice toy to try out different operating systems, I think it's a great investment. If you like this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more future content like this. I plan to do more tech videos in the future, although there isn't really anything set in stone. With that being said, thank you for watching. This is Torrent, signing off.